Vanquish is an action third-person shooter video game developed by Platinum Games and published by Sega for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 video game consoles. It began development in 2007 and was released worldwide in October 2010. A Windows port was released on May 25, 2017. The game is notable for introducing several innovations to the 3D shooter genre, including a fast paced style of gameplay reminiscent of 2D bullet hell shooters, beat em up elements, and an original sliding boost mechanic. The game received a positive critical reaction upon release, with critics praising the game's fast paced action, innovations to the shooter genre, boss battles, and visual style, while criticizing the game's writing, voice acting, and overall short length of the campaign. Gameplay Players control Sam Gideon, a DARPA agent armed with the augmented reaction suit. If the player takes too much damage, the suit will automatically enter augmented reaction R mode. R mode increases Sam's reflexes tenfold, essentially slowing down time for Sam to evade attacks. The player can also manually enter R mode by holding down the aim button while evading, sliding, or vaulting over cover, allowing the player to target enemies and their weak spots easily. At any time, the player can use boosters on the suit to quickly slide across an area. If the player uses R mode or the boosters too much in a short time, the suit will overheat and will require a short period to cool down, during which Sam is less mobile and cannot use the boosters or R mode. The suit will also overheat instantly if a melee attack from the player connects with an enemy, and certain areas of the game will also overheat the suit. Topic: <inaudible> Weaponry. Sam's arsenal consists of the blade weapons system and two types of grenades. The blade system can store up to 3 weapons at a time from a total of 8 standard weapon types, plus 3 added in a DLC pack. The player is able to swap weapons if they come across a type of weapon not already in their possession by simply holding down the reload button. This will replace the weapon in the active weapon slot. These weapons, and the grenades, can be upgraded by collecting upgrade chips. Collecting a type of weapon already in the player's inventory will replenish its ammunition, while doing so with maximum ammunition constitutes one-third of an upgrade. Upgrading a weapon improves its statistics, such as their maximum ammunition capacity, firepower, and blast radius. Players can aid injured allies on the field to earn weapons, or find them in crates or weapon lockers. On normal and hard difficulty levels, the active weapon is downgraded by one level upon death, while the god hard difficulty level prohibits upgrades altogether. Others. Other gameplay mechanics include the use of explosives during certain areas, the ability to commandeer enemy walkers or turrets, the ability to use cigarettes to distract enemies, and quick time events during certain battles against larger or stronger enemies. It has also significantly improved upon the cover system, which it has been credited for taking to the next level. In contrast to previous cover-based shooters, the game has bullets and missiles coming from all directions in a manner reminiscent of bullet hell shooters. Some cover is easily destructible, forcing Sam to be on the move, while the game also penalizes the player's score for the amount of time spent in cover. Its most important innovation, however, is the aforementioned sliding boost mechanic that allows the player to slide into and out of cover at high speeds and in slow motion using R mode, acting as a defensive escape and an offensive setup, opening up new gameplay possibilities for cover based shooters and increasing the pace significantly. The game features a unique end credits rail shooting sequence, depicting faces of staff members on asteroids. Topic. Plot In the near future, Earth's human population burgeons to the point, where nations fight for scarce resources. The United States of America attempts to alleviate energy problems by launching SCO-1 Providence, an O'Neill Cylinder space colony using a solar energy microwave transmitter to provide them with an alternative source. However, the government of the Russian Federation has been overthrown in a coup d'état by a section of the military, calling themselves the Order of the Russian Star. They capture Providence and use the microwave transmitter to devastate San Francisco. 
Viktor Zaitsev, Mark Worden, a Russian star agent, demands the American government to surrender or he will target New York City. Elizabeth Winters, Lee Merriweather, the President of the United States, sends Lieutenant Colonel Robert Burns, Stephen Bloom, to infiltrate the station, along with the Bravo Company, an army of space marines. They recruit Sam Gideon, Gideon Emery, a Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA soldier equipped with the Prototype Augmented Reaction Suit ARS, a cutting-edge battlesuit outfitted with a vast array of functions, including jet boosters attached to his thighs. He is armed with the Experimental Battlefield Logic Adaptable Electronic Weapon System blade, which scans existing weapons and transforms into them. It stores only three scans at a time and can shapeshift between each on command. He is assisted by Elena Ivanova Carrie Walgren aboard the SBC-2 command ship. The mission gives DARPA the perfect chance to test the suit. Winters gives classified orders for Sam to rescue scientist Dr. Francois Candide Benito Martinez, who is kidnapped by Zaitsev. While Sam and Burns infiltrate Providence, Candide manages to disable the microwave, before it can target New York. As Sam reaches the microwave station, Candide tells Sam that Burns and Winters have betrayed the United States, before being killed by Burns. Burns tells Sam that he will change the microwave's target to Moscow under Winters' orders, explaining the city's destruction as an economic stimulus package. Sam inadvertently defeats Burns, who orders him to escape. Burns uses a bomb in his bionic arm to kill himself and the remaining Bravo Company troops. Zaitsev tells Sam that Winters had secretly supported the order of the Russian star, but she betrayed them by using the coup as a pretext to declare war on Russia. He claims that she intends to use it to cement American hegemony worldwide and that the order preemptively attacked the station as a retribution. Sam defeats two slave units, but finds out that Zaitsev controlled them. Zaitsev activates a tactical nuke inside the remaining suit to destroy Providence and prevent anyone from reclaiming it. Sam boards an escape pod and survives the explosion, reuniting with Elena on their ship. Zaitsev escapes as well, and is congratulated by his superiors for accomplishing the mission. Winters commits suicide, after realizing that her plan failed. <laughs> development and release. The game's director, Shinji Mikami, stated that Vanquish's graphics were partially inspired by Kasern, a 1970s anime series by Tatsunoko Production. Mikami also stated that the game design itself was inspired by Kasern. Mikami originally wanted to create a game just like Kasern, but with the addition of guns, since Mikami had already previously created a brawler with God Hand. However, while making Vanquish a shooter, Mikami still wanted to maintain Kasern's feeling of speed, which is the reason he introduced the sliding boost mechanic. Vanquish uses the Havoc physics engine. The game's development began in 2007. In January 2010, a pre-rendered video trailer was released. Atsushi Inaba produced the game. Mikami has stated that the game is being developed with the PlayStation 3 as its lead platform in an effort to help avoid dodgy PS3 ports, commenting that it was a great success. It is Mikami's only game under the Platinum Games brand. If pre-ordered from GameStop in North America, the game came with the exclusive Try Weapon DLC pack that later became available for sale on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network in November 2012. The three weapons in the pack are included in the Windows port. Several European retailers offered free copies of Bayonetta with pre-orders of Vanquish. Savvy in the UK offered a limited edition release which included a statuette of lead protagonist Sam Gideon as a pre-order bonus. Reception Critical reception Vanquish received favorable Reviews according to video game review aggregator Metacritic. Many reviewers praised the game's visuals, gameplay, innovation, fast pace, and over-the-top style, though some also criticized its short length, lack of multiplayer, mediocre plot, and corny dialogue. Game trailers noted that it is hard to imagine the slow-motion gameplay working in multiplayer. Game Informer stated, Don't be surprised if you finish your first playthrough in four hours or less. 
This view was challenged by Platinum Games writer Jean Pierre Kellums as well as Eurogamer. In Japan, Famitsu gave the game a score of 2 9s, 1 10, and 1 9, for a total of 37 out of 40. Elsewhere, The Daily Telegraph gave the Xbox 360 version a score of 9 out of 10 and called it, a fast paced, high octane, and resolutely hardcore shooter, which makes no concessions to casual gamers. It also happens to be one of the best games of 2010. The AV Club gave the same console version a B+, calling it, "...flat-out ridiculous, designed strictly to amuse, not to offer any greater message." The Escapist gave the PlayStation 3 version a score of 4 stars out of 5, saying, "...all of the trappings are perfectly sound if not extraordinary, and despite one or two incredibly vexing design decisions, Vanquish's combat is blisteringly fast and a genuine pleasure to watch and play when it's going well, but an exercise in maddening frustration when it isn't." The Guardian also gave the same console version 4 stars out of 5, saying that it isn't going to change the face of gaming, but it's impressive to behold, satisfying to play as long as you're reasonably hardcore and shot through with humor look out, for example, for the robots dancing to a ghetto blaster which transforms into a mobile gun, it's the best thing Shinji Mikami has done for quite a while." Eurogamer said it was, "...a game of astounding creativity and polish," and "...the best third-person shooter ever to come out of Japan." Their only minor criticism was the title's replay value, perhaps the only area of the game which lags behind its Western counterparts. <laughs> Sales The PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game respectively debuted at number 4, 48,318 units, and number 14, 11,204 units on Japanese sales charts during their release week. By February 2011, the game had sold 820,000 copies worldwide. By March 2011, the game had sold 830,000 copies worldwide. By July 1, 2018 the PC version had approximately 143,289 players. Awards The game received Game of the Year awards from the Classic Game Room, and Savvy.com, X360 gave it the Best Shooter award, and GamesRadar gave it an award for most. Oh shit. Moments per minute. IGN gave it the Best Sci-Fi Game award in the PS3 category, and nominated the game for the awards of Coolest Atmosphere, Most Challenging, Most Addictive Game, Best Visuals, and Best Blockbuster Game. GameSpot gave the game the awards for Best Game No One Played, both the Editor's Award and the Reader's Choice Award, and Best Original Game Mechanic. For its rocket sliding game mechanic, which acts as both a defensive escape and an offensive setup, opening up new gameplay possibilities for action games. GameSpot also nominated the game for the awards of Best Shooter, Best Sound Design, Best Original IP, Best Xbox 360 Game, Best PS3 Game, and overall Game of the Year. <laughs> Notes <laughs>